it's disastrous. DSS custody has been marked for demolition by the UN if Namdekano is still in detention. See details. Good day everyone in the house. It's a pleasure meeting you all still on this very channel. This is the Lord TV and this is Sunday morning. We want to congratulate every one of you as we are in a very special day and also in a very special mood. It's awesome to see this special day. Um, to our October celebrant, we are congratulating you. It's your month. Please celebrate wisely. We are wishing you a fruitful and a successful celebration. Um, we want to start by appreciating you all for your many opinions and also for your messages and mails that you have been sending to us. Uh, thank you so much. And also for your patience. It has not been easy. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, looking at today's content, you agree with me that it has not been easy, but we pray it, it becomes easy. Um, I say I, I would say that it is the federal government that has been making it look very difficult, but it's not going to be difficult if only um, the if, if only we can be able to do what we know that is that is true. Yes, we have we are, we are doing what we the federal government are doing what we make. Uh, the UN take drastic steps, steps that I know that they are not willing to take, you know. So, uh, no, I don't think there is anybody to blame here for, uh, apart from the federal government. So, if by tomorrow, if by tomorrow the UN decide to do what they have just said, then we, uh, I think the people to blame is this administration. This administration has been causing a lot of uh, a lot of destruction, a lot of destruction. It has been. So, um, my dear listeners, I would say it has not been encouraging at all. It has not been. Okay. Um, without talking much, let's quickly um, hop in and see what the content of this uh, could be. What do you think? All right, this is Morning News. It has been disastrous since the call for the release of the IPOP leader, Namde Kanu, from detention. The UN has called for the demolition of DSS custody since Mr. President Wari is refusing to release Nam the Kano. According to the UN Secretary, it is better that that the very detention is marked and demolished for good. The issues are very, very straight. According to the UN Secretary, that very detention has been marked by the Boko people and also it is very possible that it may be set ablaze. The life of the prisoners, most especially the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, is very much important. If by adventure the Boko people end up coming to a detention and set that very place ablaze, what do you think will happen to the lives in that very detention? The best is to get it out of that very location, at least to free those in detention and give them reason to live again. The UN Secretary have said that the attitude of Mr. President is making things to get worse by the day, and so there is need to put these things right now, she claimed. Thank you so much, um, madam. You see, uh, since the beginning of the hearing of the IPOP leader, you've been very, very active. 
you know you've been very very active and your ears have always been on ground this makes shows the quality of the un you understand yes it shows the quality of the un um i really want to appreciate your uh, the activeness of the united nation i never knew that the un can be this um uh, active most especially when it comes to matters of this such you understand because president mobar is not who one needs to be very soft on or soft to mm -hmm. if you are too soft to mr president it will really sit on your head um, so i would say that this very decision is not is not bad but rather it's a very good one at least to make worry to realize a lot of things um, demolition of the dss cost study mm -hmm. don't you think that if it is demolished the federal government will see reason to get now kind of transferred okay okay even if it is, tra is transferred i think it will still be fair because um that very detention has been tried for three consecutive times this month one was when they made an attempt to kill namrikano two attempts to uh, get it exploded and three was one that just happened three days ago where i guess uh, uh, uh one of the terrorists was caught caught at the back of the detention only god know what he's trying to do the investigation is still on to know uh, what he's trying to do but he never he has not he, he has refused to say anything you see that so these people cannot be trusted it is very very clear that they have an interior motive and also a hidden agenda they don't really want the IPOP leader to leave neither do they want him to be out of detention hmm? voila let's hear you my dear people and at least let's know what you equally think and what's your own opinion on all that has just been reviewed maybe don't forget to leave them below the comment section click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you